today's video, we will be showing you how to make the dynamic camera shutter effect in Video Vlogger. So if you're interested in this one, keep watching. First, we need to import a clip into Video Vlogger. Put it into the video track. Scale the timeline to the right length. Use ripple added to crop to the right position. Then, we drag the playhead. Find a point in the video. Well, it can be something like a character movement change or shift in gaze. Then we click on split at this point. Then click on this button to take a screenshot of this frame. The system will now automatically pop up a folder. Then we use AI to key the image and remove the background. You can use this website or any other software that is able to key the image. Then, let's import both image before and after keying into Video Vlogger. Take the screenshot taken before the keying and insert it into the video track from the location where we do the split. And then put a keyed image into the corresponding position of the overlay track. Then we find Transform Main Inspector. Click this button to make the image fit to the screen. Follow this method to screenshot the subsequent actions. Next, we need to add a black border to the video using motion. First, click on the clip on the video track before the freeze frame. Then. Click on Motion to enter the Motion Editor. Place a keyframe at roughly 20 frames at the end of the timeline. Adjust the box so that it fits to the screen. Then move the playhead back about 10 frames. Click on this button to find the aspect ratio. Change it to Custom. Then we go back to a left window. Drag the top and bottom borders of the box to create a black edge. Then in the bottom right corner, we change the speed to smooth speed down 1. Next, let's put a third keyframe at the end of the timeline to get a screen image back to the beginning look. And also we change the speed to smooth speed down 1. Click apply to return to the main interface. Now, the black border effect is complete. Next, we add a flash effect to enhance the black border effect. Click on Transition. Find Fade to White. And drag it into the position in the video track. Adjust the duration of the effect to make it look like a flash. Then, use this method to add a flash effect and black edge to a following part. To enrich your image, we can also add some text. First, drag the playhead to the right side where there is no content. Then click text to add a text. Enter the text and adjust the font. Then delete the text shadow. Adjust the size and the position of the text in the preview window. Click the bottom here to take the screenshot. Then let's go back to a video vlogger. Find text border. Change your border color to white. Adjust the border size to maximum. And change the color of the text to black. This way we can have the corresponding hollow font. Re-enter the text and take another screenshot. Then, re-import all the screenshots into Video Vlogger. Delete the subtitles from the timeline. Then create a new overlay track. Place the key the material at the bottom. And for easier editing later, we can click the bottom here to lock the laser. Next, put a text image you just took into the overlay track in the middle and make them fit to the screen. Use Ripple Edit to crop them to right length 
and adjust the blend mode to screen. Find the opacity and adjust it to the right value. Make them look like this in the video. Then, a dynamic camera shot effect is ready. Well, this is all for today's video. If you want to know more about other end tricks or what has been going on with Video Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to the subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.